Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today I'm gonna show you how to use the jQuery UI uh, draggable and resizable interactions with your div. So I'm gonna set a div that can actually be dragged around all over and can, uh, can be resized too. And I'm also gonna set uh, some additional optional parameters like uh, cursor, containment, uh, max height, max width, uh, min width, min height, uh, animate aspect ratio, auto hide, uh, animate duration, animate easing. Okay, so we're, we're going to uh, use and uh, discuss these uh, additional optional parameters. I forgot to talk about handles. I'm going to discuss that too. We're going to see what handles actually means. It, uh, it works with uh, the div when you actually can uh, make it uh, resizable. So draggable and resizable interactions. We're going to look at that using jQuery UI. Okay, people. Uh, let's look at the structure of the HTML page. Uh, we have the opening doc type out here. Uh, we have the doc type declaration out here, opening HTML tag out here, closing out here, opening body tag out here, closing uh, body tag out here. Uh, the head opens out here, closes out here in line number 7. The meta uh, tag with the cat set attribute out here, title opening, closing out here. Okay, so it's the, just the uh, very basic structure. Now inside the opening and the closing body tags people have inserted a div with an ID limits, another div, nested div with an ID action. And this div which has an ID of action is gonna be set uh, to be draggable as well as resizable. Let's start. Okay, first things first. People for my uh, jQuery UI script to fire, I need certain dependent files, certain JS and uh, uh, CSS file uh, which I'm gonna fetch in a moment using CDN okay and I'm gonna insert them out here so using CDN I'm actually referencing a couple of CSS files out here and out here and a couple of JS files out here and out here which are actually needed for the jQuery UI uh, to function correctly if these files are not present our script will not fire alright uh, people quite clearly you can see this is some kind of a theme out here set to smoothness there are so many other themes too okay it's a CSS file people and through the content delivery network or CDN I'm actually referencing this file uh, through these couple of script tags I'm referencing the latest jQuery package 1.9.1.js also referencing the latest jQuery UI package 1.10.3 JS uh, and I also need yet another CSS file okay so using the link tag out here uh, uh, I'm actually fetching it but since they are kept remotely on a different server not my uh, my own hard disk we, we say that we are fetching it using a CDN or content delivery network okay now that I'm actually done with the first step people I will start off by creating rules for ID limits and ID action okay very cool let's start I'm gonna click out here where it says uh, the where it shows me the plus sign I'm gonna start off by creating rules for the div with an ID action all the action uh, all the interactions are gonna be focused on this div I'm gonna make this div resizable and draggable too I'm gonna make I'm gonna set the rules to be embedded or internal okay going inside this document only let's say okay and people let me say that I would want the width to be a 200 the height to be a 200 the padding to be let's say a 10 in fact I don't even even need the padding at all let's go to the background color set the background color to be uh, quite a dark color pound sign triple three okay I'm actually done let me say okay straight away so this is the inner div people let's set rules for the other uh, div too which is limits click on the plus button let's say okay I'm also gonna keep this internal or embedded and I'm gonna go to the box category this time I'm gonna set the width to be 300 the height to be 300 pixels that is but change the background color to be a lavender okay and I'm gonna say okay now so quite clearly people as you can see out here in the design area that the inner div has a darker shade compared to the outer div. Now the outer div is gonna act as the container or the containment or the boundary or the limits beyond which the 
inner div cannot be dragged around. We're going to look at that in a moment now. Okay. So the structure is very simple, people. Inside the opening closing body tags, we have uh, the outer div with an ID limits, the inner div with, an I, with the ID action, and this is where I'm going to, you know, focus all my attention uh, and interactions, draggable, resizable, too. Okay. I'm going to start off with uh, opening closing script tags. I'm going to script it out now, people. Okay, just after the link tag, people, I'm going to say script type text JavaScript. Cool. And next, let me close it up. Okay. Let's go out here. That's a close. Let's script it out, people. So when the deck document is actually ready, and the way to write it is document dot ready handler. Okay. So so when the document is ready to be manipulated, when the DOM is initialized, please uh, fire an anonymous function which is gonna reference. Uh, the div with an ID action okay and then make it let's say first draggable so draggable parenthesis parenthesis semicolon let's save it up okay uh, come off the live view go back in again try dragging the inner you know, div and let's see whether it can actually be dragged yes it can okay it actually goes outside the uh, outer div too I'm going to control that in a moment. Okay, let's change the cursor when I'm actually dragging it. That's the first thing that I'm going to do. I'm going to set an additional optional argument or parameter, which is uh, cursor. And I'm going to set it to move. Okay, now let's see that in action. See the cursor now, people. Right? And now I'm going to set yet another additional optional parameter. Put a comma out here and use the word containment and put a colon and contain it inside the parent div so just put the word parent out here it can also be replaced by the name of the div which is uh, hash limits both will work equally well okay let's try dragging it outside the outer parent doesn't happen people the containment uh, additional optional parameter has taken good care of that okay I can either continue putting a dot out here and making it resizable or I can actually push it in a separate line. You know, just to make things more clear, I'm going to push it in a separate line. Let's just copy this bit. Okay, let's say control C and uh, come to the next line, put a, you know, push it out here, paste it out here and set it to resizable parents parents semicolon. Okay. Uh, let's say file, let's say save and okay now people as you can quite clearly see that there's a handle that appears uh, that I can actually drag okay drag around and from here too from here as well but not from this edge people doesn't come doesn't appear out here or at the top nevertheless okay uh, so you can see that not only is it actually uh, draggable, it's also resizable. I'm going to use the handles additional option parameters. Okay, we have the handles additional option parameter. I'm going to show you what that actually means. Okay, if I go out here, put a pair of, you know, curly braces like so, come out here, use the handles. Uh, see, right, right now the handles uh, additional option parameter uh, is actually set to NS, basically means north, south. What that means is that I would want the handles, the resizable handles to appear on the north and on the south side only. Okay. You can set it to east, west, north, south, or you can set it to all two. But for this example, I'm just going to show you what NS actually means. See, uh, people, I'm dragging it and see that the handle on the south side and on the north side too doesn't appear on the uh, east or the west. Okay. Just by putting a comma separated value like east okay and let's test it out again out again okay it appears on the east too and I can just put a comma separated value why not put west too okay 
right and you can see it should now uh, appear on all the four sides people okay okay cool so this is the way you can actually use the uh, handles additional optional argument or parameters people I can even set it to all rather than uh, let me show it to you okay so it appears out here 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 in this corner as well okay it appears out here in this corner as well okay so that is what all means okay so through the handles I can control a lot let me just get rid of the handles additional option parameter uh, for the moment uh, I can either keep it or I can just uh, work with the default uh, when you work with the default people the handle actually appears out here in the corner see out here in the corner there's a small wedge or triangular like shape you can't see that simply because uh, the color is pretty dark out here see so I'm using pound sign triple three let's try putting triple A out here let's maybe you can actually see the wedge or the triangular shape yes you can see it now okay I'm next gonna talk about the auto hide property people it's gonna do something to this uh, you know this this shape this triangular shape which actually makes you believe that it's actually stretchable okay I'm gonna use the auto hide property next so auto hide and I'm gonna set it to true let's say save okay let's actually check it out now people now notice that that you know triangular shape has actually that was in the corner has actually vanished but when I uh, move inside that div, the inner div that is, it actually appears. Now it disappears, appears, and disappears. So, this is what uh, auto hide actually does. I'm gonna set it to false. Let's see what other additional option parameters we have. Okay, just the way I set the containment for the uh, draggable, you know, when I use the draggable interaction, I can set the containment out here too. But that's it's not a good idea when you're actually keeping it draggable as well as resizable. Some conflict actually happens. I've seen it personally. It's better not to use it twice when you have already set, you know, when you, you actually making it draggable, don't use the containment uh, additional option parameter argument with the resizable interaction. Instead, uh, I would rather use the max height max width interactions. Let me show you what I actually mean. Okay, let me come out here. Let me use the max height uh, and let's say set it to uh, 300 let's show you what it actually does so people uh, see when I actually drag it okay uh, one sec I need to come with the live you go back in again then I'll be able to show it to you okay mm, it doesn't seem to work max height okay I need to have a capital H out here my mistake people pardon me okay file and a save and let's try it again okay I think I need to just refresh come off the live view go back in again oh that's a max height I'm trying the width <laughs> how very stupid okay as you can very clearly see that it doesn't go beyond uh, 300px I can similarly set uh, max width min width min height too okay let's now completely do away with, uh, with these two additional option parameters and discuss a few more let's talk about uh, animate and ghost okay let's pick them up both together control C let's push it in out here usually used in conjunction people let's put a comma out here between the two okay uh, this will actually uh, now animate while you resize it I'll tell you what that actually means let me come to the live you go back in again that's a refresh it's gonna ghost around now okay see do you see the uh, outline wh while I actually uh, resize it and when I leave it it's gonna animate now okay in fact I'm gonna go back to a darker shade things will become much more clear now you'll be able to see the uh, the ghost effect a lot better now is that right cool so animate is usually used in conjunction with ghost uh, okay I'm gonna talk about aspect ratio too but let me also discuss animate duration and animate easing so while you're using the animate uh, additional optional parameter or uh, uh, argument 
you can even uh, check out this option animate duration you can keep it slow fast or normal inside quotation marks or you can set it to a set it out to be a number in terms of milliseconds I'm not gonna show it to you people you can try it out yourself and you can also set the animate easing to either linear or swing I think the default should be swing you can uh, change it to linear okay I'm not gonna uh, show these two you know as a demonstration you can try it yourself okay and in the end people let's talk about the aspect ratio I can set it to true false or I can set it to a fraction like so okay let me start with the uh, true show you what that actually means I'm gonna come out here and push in the additional option parameter aspect ratio okay let's do a refresh come off the live view go back in again okay let's try to refresh okay now people it's gonna stretch but it's gonna make sure that the aspect ratio is maintained right if I set it to false that's actually the default okay come off the live you go back in again check it out and now it really doesn't matter if the aspect ratio is maintained or not and as I said I can keep it to a fraction like so okay come with the live view go back in again try stretching okay it's gonna maintain the aspect ratio 16 by 9 or even 0.5 okay come off the live view go back in again and let's try doing it so a uh, height versus width it's always gonna be a point five the height is gonna double the width always the width is always gonna be half of the height okay so people uh, I'm gonna terminate the tutorial now I hope you like this tutorial people I hope you found this information useful on how to keep or make your div braggable and resizable so with the jQuery UI you can uh, use these two interactions draggable and resizable I also hope uh, that you'll subscribe to me I also hope that you'll keep coming back for more won't you you have a good day bye bye peace